Okay, so lime washing um, is a, a slightly, you need a bit more finesse. You don't necessarily want to be throwing it on and working it in. It's more the kind of up, down stroke, laying it on as thinly as you can. Um, externally, I think I would probably go up with a bit more of the kind of shelter coat option first. Um, but internally, if this was an inside wall, then of course we'd want to um, take a little bit more care. So this is a, an external wall that has been lime washed already many uh, years ago and you can see that it's beginning to wear away a little bit. So again, first things first, just spray, spray the wall down to control that suction. This is a lime rendered wall. Lime washes only really adhere to lime plasters. Um, you need a degree of suction. So we'll see if that the water will just absorb into that wall. Again, like plastering, you don't want to be plastering or lime washing onto a shiny surface. You want to wait for that water to just be absorbed into the, into the wall. So here is our lime wash. We're going to paint it pink so that you can see, see it on film. But you see how dark red that looks in the bucket, but actually when it dries, it'll be quite a soft uh, rose petal pink. So I'm going to drill this up. So in deep in here, if I put my finger in, I'm pulling out a sludge. This hasn't got any sand in. This is just lime putty mixed with pigment, mixed with water. So the water's sitting on the surface and the actual particles of lime and pigment have settled on the, on the uh, bottom of the tub, so I need to just drill it up. And you can see the consistency, it's a kind of thick cream, well, sort of single cream sort of consistency. Check the wall, it's damp, but it's, the suction has taken the water in. So now I look at my lime washing brushes and rather than going for, you know, a big churn brush and throwing it on the wall, I either want a sort of a soft masonry brush so I can just get a good coverage on the wall or if I wanted to a softer brush still this is actually a, a casein painting brush but it does actually work nicely for lime wash as well so I'm just doing one pass two passes I don't want to be painting on thick as if it was a traditional you know paint this is actually a thin wash so just and the first coats do look a bit streaky but that's okay because we'll be going over this about four or five times so that streakiness will go so I'm sort of painting it on really quite gently as evenly as I can And then we'll leave that to go off until dry off and then we'll go over it in the next coat as well. And we just carry on as quickly as you can right to the end. You can see different brushes leave different amounts on the wall. So you want to make sure that you kind of use the same brush right the way through. This, this brush in this case feels a bit better to be honest. So by the time you look at this tomorrow, this won't be dark red, it'll be a pale pink.
Again, with line washing, the same as uh, any work outside really. If it's bright weather, sunshine, preferably you want to wait for the sun to have passed. So we've waited until the sun is over the other side of the building. So the sun won't be beating down on this until tomorrow morning. And that means it's got 12 hours to start to carbonate and to go, to go off slowly. If the sun was to hit this now, it would dry it out too quickly. And then you've got then the challenge of keeping it damp and moist. But of course you can't spray this down because it will just wash off. So then you'd have to think about protective measures, um, hanging hessian a distance from the wall so it wasn't hitting the wall, um, just creating that damp microclimate. So aftercare with, with any lime material, whether that be renders, pointing, lime washes, you've got to be really careful as to protecting it from the weather.